to choose which way we wanted to go. We could have all stood up and said, there must be a war between black and white. But we chose to say, let us build a reconciled society going forward. And that is the decision that we have to make even around our own members. Where they are racist, we dismiss them out of the organization. That's a decision that we've got to say to ourselves when somebody says, my actions are incorrect, we take the appropriate sanctions against them. And then we build on to say, as you can see here today, my job is to build a non-racial movement. Because you don't have to be black to fight against racism. racial polarization. That says black people are incapable of leading. And if you are black, you must have other handlers around you. It's the only way you lead. I think it's racist, fundamentally. That issue stems out of the fact that it's a lack of belief in the fact that black people can lead. And so long as we live in a society like that, we are not only offending me as a political leader, but we are offending people, leaders in business. You can say to uh, the CEO of uh, Standard Bank or FNB, because they are black, no, 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 no. They are, they, are, they are just there as puppets. It's racist. We must get through that issue and recognize the fact that as black South Africans, we struggled long enough to make sure that we can have leaders on organizations. And I don't lead because I'm black. I lead because I lead an organization. And then ultimately, the project that I'm engaged with is that people will talk. Uh, this is our Concorde Hamba. And they must talk. But we have a job to do and we are focused on leading this organization.